in the short video, I will show you how you can um, set up a release Gantt chart uh, using ALM Optim external actions. Yeah. So what is a release Gantt chart? You go to the module management, select the releases you want to put, uh, you want to put on a Gantt chart. So let's go here, here, here. Then you can say, show on timeline. So this is an external action I have created in this project. Um, when you click on it, it should come up with the releases you have selected on a Gantt chart. So, and if I select other releases, it will show or add those releases also to the chart. So I can now say show on timeline. And here you would have now the updated chart with the added uh, releases. Let me add more. So let's add all of those. And now I can go again to show timeline, show on timeline. So it will put all of my releases onto a Gantt chart. Okay, and I will show you now how you can easily achieve this. Um, there's a code repository published on uh, GitHub and you just need to download and uh, configure Python server uh, and Flask server on your machine. So install PyCharm is the best uh, to configure such a, uh, external action uh, for ALM Optin. So in order to do so, you go to the Python library here, yeah, Optin Python examples. And here you have an area external action, release reporting, and you download the release reporting itself. So it's fully configured. You just need to set it up as a, in a PyCharm, uh, in, in a Python Flask server. So you can install PyCharm is the easiest way to set it up. I've installed it and it's running here already. Um, it's this file and uh, this code I've configured and it's running on my local machine. So uh, once this is running here, I will um, go back to Octane and I can really use the external actions defined here and access those um, those services I'm running in uh, Python. Yeah? So basically what you have to do is you go here, download this file, make sure it's running on your local IP. So you have to change this IP and also the port. Yeah? It should be available. And then you can, once this is up and running in your Python environment, you can go to this area, external actions editor. And there's a short JSON which you also need to modify here on the same port and uh, IP address where your Python server is running the service from the previous code. So from, let me go back, from this one. So here, where you're running this code, you need to put exactly here in this uh, URL. And then from Octane, it's quite easy. You can add, the whole JSON string here in the external action editor, just update the, the files. Yeah? And then once it's done, you are ready to use the GAN charts in Octane. It will come up exactly as you like. So it shows you the releases you have selected and you are good to use it. Hope this helps.